Coach Kately here. Your team is the NCAA Indoor National Champions for the men's side. How are you feeling at this very moment? Just incredible, let me tell you. It was a, a heck of a day. I was so proud of the kids. We just came roaring today. I mean, event after event. And you know, to win this championship, you have to have some tens. And uh, we had three of them today, and that was pretty huge. <laughs> were you looking at the scores because back here we're like calculating going into the four by four we're like okay this needs to happen this needs to happen but on your side were you focused on the scores or what were you just kind of focusing on throughout the day yeah we, we just really I mean I, I glanced at the scoreboard occasionally but we, we had to take care of business ourselves and that's what I told our team is don't worry about anybody else let's go do what we do and uh, I think they really my leadership with with Caleb Dean Terrence you know Jones I mean all that group, Debo, uh, you know, in the 60s, those kids were, were ready and, and they kept leading this, this team the whole day. Mm -hmm. Was there any Maybe special you know, event today that, like, is going to resonate in your heart for a very long time? Like, I think this is just that big moment that we, you never really expected from today. Well, I, I was just really proud of Caleb Dean, who we worked to death. And, you know, he got, I mean, he just runs everything for us. He's my Swiss Army knife, I call him. But, uh, you know, I'm just proud of all of them. We kept nickel and diamond in here and there and the 400 and the 200. You know, we just kept going. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, it just makes a difference when you keep getting everybody. We got a little bit of high jump points. All those, those add up. Mm -hmm. We also had a chance to talk with Sharon Stones here, who just did a, an amazing job doubling. He also mentioned, like, he doesn't know how to run the curves. What are your thoughts on, on that? Well, believe it or not, this is his first full year to even run the 200 mm -hmm. on boards. We just really haven't done that much. And uh, he's just figuring it out, but I think he did pretty well today. Awesome. Just curious, I mean, 2019, you all won the outdoor title. You came, you've won Big 12s. Now it's the first indoor uh, NCAA title. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do you attribute the progress that Texas uh, Tech has been able to make over the past few years? You know, I think the 2019 team uh, made Texas Tech and my team and just the city and everybody believe, hey, we've got a national program. We've got a really good group here. And then people wanted to come, and I just think that that culture has built since 2019. We had it before then. We were coming to the meets and getting fifth and coming to the meet and getting top five. It just changed around 19. Now we've got believers. And then we've got kids like Caleb D, Terrence Norris, all those guys that just know how to you know, build a culture with our group. And my coaching staff, I can't tell you how proud I am my coaching staff. Scott. How important were they to get you to this your NCAA champion, the most 60 meter high hours, round 756. Incredible. You know, we won the big championship at home, and it's just electric. And so we tried to create that same atmosphere here. We had all the girls and the boys that weren't competing together and sitting together and trying to create a lot of noise. It helped so much. Awesome. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you all so much. Appreciate you. Absolutely.